Clementine. <gasps> Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. Well, my friends, it's been two long months of waiting, but it is finally time. We are back to theories for The Walking Dead final season, and we're approaching almost 30 days until episode 3, Broken Toys, as it'll be releasing January 15th. So this entire month, we will be doing theories, showcasing, broadcasting what you guys have to say. If you have any theories you want to comment, make sure to comment them down below. I have a straw poll down below. You guys can go vote for the next video topic. Make sure to go vote. Link's down below in the description. So I want to thank Locke Pater for this topic, and he mentioned first about Lee coming back, so let's get this straight out the window. Today's video is going to be discussing Lee and his potential return in a flashback slash dream sequence that I talked about before. Last month I did a video talking about why I think Lee could return. Now I'm going to talk about what I think this flashback slash dream will have, because if you didn't watch the teaser trailer, it is highly likely we're going to get something related to a flashback slash dream. So, if you guys enjoy this video, let's get 1,000 likes for our thirst first theory, and make sure you also subscribe. Guys, thank you all for 151k subscribers, and we've got a long way to go until episode 3, so hope you guys enjoy, and we're back to the grind. Enjoy. So, firstly, I'm going to talk about the AMA. I talked about this last month when I made the video, but, again, Will we get any more conversations about Lee slash references to him in the last two episodes? He says, Ken Muddle again, one of the heads. Oh, there will be Lee references. There will be. And again, that gave me the inclination that we are going to be getting something big with Lee in episode three and maybe even in episode four. But let's go straight into that teaser trailer that happened three days ago. And we'll talk about what was said in that. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. So his dialogue there is pretty important. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, it'd be hard too. Time to go, Clementine. There's people that need you. So the dialogue is Sounds like it's kind of like a dream slash flashback sequence. Time to go, Clementine. Very important detail there, meaning Clementine is in kind of some dream flashback sequence and Lee's telling her to go back to the present. Go save the people that got kidnapped by the Delta by Lily. And maybe, who knows when this is in the episode, there could be even more things going on when this flashback happens slash dream. It could even be a hallucination. Clementine could be literally in the middle of a battle or a fight, and she could literally be seeing Lee there talking to her, which would be pretty damn emotional to see something that crazy. But it does make sense that this is going to be a dream slash fast flashback since you know Lee kind of it's kind of like a reflection on you know all the time that's passed since Lee's death to now, as Lee talks about you know the world's gotten pretty tough since I left it. Since again, things are a lot more. You know, crazy, a lot more battles, a lot more enemies. I mean, it's not even the walkers anymore that really is the fear. It's people themselves attacking each other. And again, that's a big statement with Lily's Delta group and the community they're fighting in the north. But this dialogue does give me the inclination that we're going to be getting a flashback slash a dream. So, also, Lee, this dialogue is new. It's new. It's never been said before. So, again... This will definitely most likely be in episode 3 since again it was shown in the teaser trailer and heard. So Clementine again will be hearing this and since it is new it's most likely going to be part of that flashback. Now I also want to talk about all the references so far in the final season that also do hint at this flashback happening. We've had multiple trailers thus far that have talked about Lee. We've had scenes where Clementine's been talking to Lily about Lee. We've had scenes where AJ's been talking to Clementine about Lee. We've even had scenes where Clementine's been talking to others about Lee. A lot of Lee references, and again, 
you're in my shoes now. It's kind of like I think this episode's going to start to really put in the shoes of Clementine in that leader role slash, you know, what what Lee had to do to go through to save Clementine. And now kind of Lee maybe teaching Clementine, you know. I'm not saying you have to die like Lee did, Clementine, but, you know, she's going to have to step in that leader role and save the people she cares about, being all the boarding school kids and AJ. Because based off the two or three new scenes we got in the trailer, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going down, especially with AJ looking like he got hurt with a cut on his face. Now also, we want to talk about the one scene with the bed. And I think this is right, could be when the flashback slash dream happens. It looks like Clementine's waking up and Lee says it's time to go Clementine. So this could be our flashback slash dream scene when it happens possibility or it could be in the middle of a battle i see you know things are happening we don't know yet so let's move on to some more stuff so one of the achievements for episode three and i'll be talking about these in depth once you guys pick this as the main theory did you lick it remembered the good times now again i will be talking about this more in depth in another time but I do think this theory could be, con or this theory that I'm doing with the flashback could be connected with this achievement. And is it possible that, you know, remember in episode two of season one, there was something with the salt lick, and it looks like it might be something related to that. So maybe this is going to be a flashback of Lee and Clementine in episode two. It could be, or it's something similar to that. But I think this achievement has a chance to be connected with that theory of the flashback achievement but again this will be something I save for another day but these achievements are very very important to what could happen in episode 3 and that's why I said go vote for it guys it's in the topic down below so now I'm going to make my prediction slash theory of what I think is going to happen with this if there is going to be a flashback at all and when is it going to be and what's it going to entail so Based on what we've seen so far with the teaser trailer, all the past references to Lee, I do believe there's going to be a flashback slash a dream of Lee in episode 3, Broken Toys. Now, based on what Lee said in the teaser trailer, I do think it's going to happen either before we go into the Delta, meaning it most likely will be a flashback, or it could be in the middle of when we are in the Delta. It could be a hallucination could even be a dream because there's one of the achievements that's called tally and says count to the days so maybe it sounds like clementine might go prisoner and maybe this flashback with lee will happen during this imprisonment that could happen and you know clementine will try to remember all the good times that she's had to get her through all the turmoil and tribulations that she's going through in episode three now what I think it's going to mainly entail is, you know, based on what we saw in the teaser trailer again, it's going to entail Lee giving Clementine advice about how things have changed and what he would do in this situation and, you know, give Clementine some voting confidence in essence based on what it says, time to go Clementine, there's people that need you. And it gives me the inclination that we have not saved everyone in the Delta, so there might even be more people that are captured. And Clementine will wake up and we will be off to fight the Delta and it's gonna be probably a five to ten minute flashback slash dream I think they're definitely gonna put this will be our last I think reference slash time to hear Dave Fenoy's voices Lee guys this will be it and it'll be probably one of the most emotional flashbacks we've gotten because no doubt I remember the flashback in season two and that was one of the you know ones that made me cry a little bit and we're definitely gonna have it again and I guess I get the tissues ready guys Flashback slash dream, again, 99% chance that it's going to happen, guys. But I want you to leave down below in the comments what you all think will happen. Will we get a Lee flashback slash dream? Will it happen? When will it happen? What's it going to entail? What is Lee going to be telling Clementine his advice? Because pretty much this is our goodbye to Lee, I think. And hopefully it's not when Clementine gets bitten. She just dreams of Lee. Oh, man, we don't want to see that. But anything's possible, guys. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack like, hit that subscribe button. And I'd love to see what you guys are going to have to say about this in the comment section down below. But we will find out in almost about a month if this Lee flashback slash dream theory 
does come true. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys vote for the next video down below in the description. And as always, guys, thank you for your support. And we'll catch you all in the next theory. Peace and love. Still not bitten.